Wanting to learn how to maintain your hydroponic nutrients? Come and join me as I show you how. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Urban Food Forest. In this video, I am going to show you a beginner-friendly and easy step-by-step -step process in maintaining your hydroponic nutrients. You will not believe the two common household ingredients you can use to maintain your hydroponic nutrients so be sure to watch until the end of the video. While there are various hydroponic systems to choose from, there's one thing that remains the common denominator in growing plants hydroponically, the nutrient solution. The nutrient solution serves as a major source where hydroponic plants get their nourishment. By being able to effectively maintain the hydroponic nutrients, the higher the success of your hydroponic gardening will be. How to choose the right hydroponic nutrients? As opposed to growing in soil where additives like manure, compost, biosolids, etc. may be used, hydroponic plants need a balanced nutrient solution as soon as it is transferred into the hydroponic system. Hence, it is imperative to choose the right and the best ones. You might stumble upon choosing which one to use, the dry or the liquid nutrient. Aside from the most common difference which is the composition of a dry, power nutrient and the liquid nutrient, they differ in other aspects too such as the concentration. Dry nutrients are economical as they may be shipped in bulk as compared to liquid ones which contain water. They are also a win when it comes to longer shelf lives for maximum cost efficiency, although they would require a more careful handling and storing in airtight containers as they are susceptible to absorb water from air. Liquid nutrients on the other hand are pre-mixed so they are easier to use. For more fun and insightful interaction with our friendly community of growers, visit our website in the video description below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get daily updates. What is the right mix of hydroponic nutrients? A good nutrient solution would have the following macronutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Magnesium, calcium, and calcium come next. All of these are the vital elements that your plant must be getting from your nutrient solution. Other elements like boron, chlorine, manganese, iron, nickel, copper, zinc, and molybdenum are also essential nutrients although they may be required in smaller quantities only. These are also known as micronutrients. Be sure to check the labels of the nutrients that you will be getting, to be sure that your plants are getting the right nourishment they need. For a full spectrum of nutrients for your hydroponic crops, check out the mini farm's nutrients at the description below. Here are the best elements for the best nutrient solution. Number 1 in the list is, of course, water. The quality of water you will be mixing your nutrients with plays a big role in the effective nutrients absorption of the plants. When using tap water, allow it to sit in the reservoir for at least a day to dissipate the chlorine before mixing in the nutrients. Next will be the pH. Follow the directions on the nutrients label for the right mix. Allow nutrient solution to sit for at least 2 hours and then use a pH meter. An ideal pH is 6.0 while the acceptable range is between 5.5 to 6.5. Use a pH balancer readily available in local hydroponic gardening stores to adjust the pH accordingly. For a natural pH neutralizer, use vinegar and baking soda. Vinegar lowers the pH while baking soda raises it. They are readily available in your home too. Moving on to the next which is the temperature. Your nutrient solution should be maintained at a steady temperature of 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Hot solution breeds bad bacteria and an increase of microorganism. It will also be bad for the tender roots of the plants. On the other hand, 
The plants will grow slower at lower temperatures as the roots will begin to shut down. They will not be able to get enough oxygen in cold nutrient solutions. Last but definitely not the least, the sunlight. A combination of sunlight and nutrients favor the growth of algae. Be sure to cover every spot possible so the sunlight would not reach your nutrient water. For more tips on how to control algae, visit the description below. Over time, the nutrient solution will decrease as the plant absorbs them, and some are lost due to evaporation. Refill with water only as the nutrients don't evaporate. However, the nutrient solution would need to be replaced every two weeks for optimal plant growth. And there you go. That is a beginner's steps on how to maintain hydroponic nutrients. Remember, one of the keys in succeeding hydroponic gardening is the effective maintenance of hydroponic nutrients. Thank you for watching today's video. Please do not forget to subscribe. Comment down below any topics you would want us to take on next. Happy growing!